Hello traders, welcome back to the Price Action Volume Trader channel here on YouTube. So today I'm going to be going over a very exciting new volume profile feature, a new tool that was just released on TradingView. This is something that I've been waiting for them to apply for a long time and they finally uh, added this functionality with this uh, volume profile drawing tool. So. I'm just going to go over where you can find it, all the general settings, and then uh, just some little uh, tips on how to use it. Okay, I'm not going to go deep into like volume profile theory and everything. You can find that in a lot of videos on my channel. You can just go into the video description. I have a lot of videos listed there, or you can just search on my channel volume profile and there's going to be a ton of content in there as well as if you want a more in-depth strategies you can definitely check out my trading courses in the link in the description as well so where do we find this new indicator as i said it's a drawing tool actually it's not an indicator so we're going to find it right here on the left side bar if i open right here this menu you can see right here this is the new one is called the anchored volume profile i have it marked with a little star just like the fixed range so that way i have them very handy heel here in my toolbar that i have on the screen so these two indicator uh these two drawing tools are this is pretty much everything i use on trading view now i don't even go into their indicators technicals profiles i don't really use this a lot i do my day trading on sierra chart but from this indicator menu i would mostly just use like the C the session volume profile but again in trading view pretty much with these two tools is where i do everything all my analysis and everything that i show you here on the channel pretty much so let's quickly touch on their previous tool that they had called the fixed range volume profile now this tool it was great when it came out and it's something that i use a lot you basically click, click on one point go to the next click and you get a profile normally i have it on the left side sorry let me just go back to my regular settings that i have here so normally this is how i have it applied by default my fixed range profile tool i have it on the left side valley area at 68 percent but the problem was if i wanted to have it on the right side because maybe if i zoom in here on the chart now I cannot see the profile here because it's all the way back there. So you could choose to put it on the right side. The only problem is it goes right here on the edge of the price. I like to go here, right on the edge of the chart. And before that, there was not possible to do this with the uh, fixed range tool but now with this new indicator they they put out this new tool if you go here you click on anchor volume profile and just a side note remember that for access to any of the volume profile tools you need to have a pro account you need to be a paying member tradingview has free accounts but under the free accounts you do not get the volume profile functionality so you need to have any of their three tiers of pro accounts to have access to this so let's click on anchored volume profile let's say i want to put it from this low if i click now you can see it instantly comes up and it's on the right edge of the chart so now you know i can zoom in i can even zoom out etc and it's going to stay in place and it's, as you can see from this box here, this shows us the area that this is covering for this profile. Now, obviously this profile looks very ugly because we haven't customized it. 
So let's go into the settings and go one by one on what everything is. And whatever settings you change in the future when you use this tool again, it's going to remember all the settings that you made. So it's just gonna keep showing up the way you like it. Or just like any of their other drawing tools, you go down here into this menu here under template and you can save different templates with different names so that you can have customized tools for different markets or different situations okay so to bring up the settings menu you just need to double click on the profile and it comes up so let's start first with the inputs inputs row layout I have two situations that I use two different settings and I've gone over this in previous videos. If I am looking at crypto markets or Forex markets, I like to use number of rows and I like to put 1000. That's going to give me a more defined profile. If I'm in futures from the CME, in this case, the ES market, which is my most traded instrument, or if you're using NASDAQ, etc. I like to use ticks per row and I like to put one. So basically ticks and number of rows, rows go in inverse. If you choose number of rows, the higher the number, the more defined the profile is going to look. If you choose ticks per row, that means the lower the tick number, the more defined it is. Okay. So let's just stay with ticks per row now because we're on the ES S&P futures market. Um, then volume, I like to just put total. Value area by default is always 70, but I like to use 68% just to be more precise. Remember the value area, this is based on the standard bell curve distribution. You have your mean. And if you take one standard deviation to each side, it's, I believe, 34.1% on either side. So then if you add this up, you know, it's pretty much 68.2, 68%, but that's why I like to use 68, because it's more uh, precise than 70. Now under style profile, this just switches it on and off values this i don't really change it with box percentage this just means how far off into the screen is going to go like if i put it at 50 that means the furthest out point the point of control of the profile is going to go all the way to the half of my screen normally i have this between 20 and 30 placement this is going to place it either on the right or the left side and you can just move the chart anywhere and it's just going to stay set right there but remember this is a fixed range so that means it's going to go from the point where you set it all the way to the latest candle in the present okay so let's put it on the right now up, down, up volume, down volume in the valley area. Normally I like to use gray colors. So I like to put the valley area in a, like a little darker gray. So let's do it like that. But you can customize it obviously to whatever volume you want. You can change the transparency, the opacity. But so right now, as you can see, I have my profile and this is my valley area which is colored in the darker gray so we have 68 percent of all the traded volume from here to here it's contained within this valley area here okay then uh, this is marking the point of control here on the red line if i wanted to mark the edges of the valley areas i can enable this here you can change the colors of this you can change what type of line you're using, etc. Okay, so this is all based on your personal preference. Normally, I don't use this enabled. I only have this enabled when I'm looking at a intraday session profile. But you know, it's up to you however you want it. 
developing point of control and value area just shows how the values has been shifting through the profile. I don't really use this. Uh, labels, this I don't really touch. Histogram box, this background that you see here is controlled by this histogram box and you can change the opacity of it. Um, this is useful to have, especially if you just want to have a good idea of where your profile starts from. So here, if I want to move this profile, you can see when I hover over this, there's a little circle that comes up right over there. As you can see, you can see when I put my mouse over it, a little circle comes. If I click on it, that circle just stays there in place. So that means that if I grab it and I drag it back, let's say up to here, now we have a new profile going from here all the way to the end. If I click on it and I drag it up here and release, now I have a new profile going from here all the way to the end, etc. So pretty much with this drawing tool, all you need to do is select the starting point and it's automatically going all the way to the end of the data that you have on the screen okay so that's the histogram box if you don't want to use this then just turn the opacity all the way to zero and the background disappears and that way you just have a plain profile only thing is you know if you're sort of don't remember where you started the profile you're gonna have to click on this and look for the circle where it started so in some ways, you know, the histogram is useful just so you don't lose track of where you had it starting. Now coordinates, this just basically means this is the starting point of the profile. You can see if I start clicking on the coordinates and moving it, it just starts moving to different places. Like here, if I put 150, it just moves back to wherever 150 candles are on the screen to start a profile. So you don't really need to worry about this since you're just pretty much clicking and dragging. And then finally, the visibility, which is what every drawing tool has on TradingView, where you can select what time frames you want this to show up in. So let's say I only want this on the daily and the hourly so I only enable this and that way now if I go like on a weekly profile I mean on a weekly chart you can see this appears if I go back to the daily it comes up okay so that's pretty much all the basics of all the settings on the options menu okay now Let's talk about how you can save presets of this profile to use in different scenarios. So for this, if I delete this, let's say, let's change market. Let's say I wanna go into the a Bitcoin market. So here I have Bitcoin and Tether daily chart from Binance. If I go and I click and select the anchor volume profile, let's say I want it from down here. You can see in this case, nothing is coming up because I have it on ticks per row. Remember I mentioned for crypto, I like to use number of rows, 1000. And now I have here my profile. I got from here all the way to the end. So let's say I wanna save this as my crypto or Forex profile that I wanna use whenever I use this tool. I just click here, I put save as, and I'm gonna put crypto slash forex, and I'm gonna put DW. That means that it's gonna show up on the daily, I mean, crypto slash forex, volume profile, and then I'm gonna put hourly, HD because it's going to show on the hourly and the daily. I click save. And now if I open up the options, you can see right here, 
under templates now i have crypto forex volume profile our daily let's say i go into the gold futures market and i'm gonna apply this and you can use number of rows in futures as well i just personally like to use ticks it's just a personal preference when i'm looking at futures markets so here i'm just gonna change this to ticks per row take it all the way down to one to have the most definition and here we have it and i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna do save as futures vp and i'm gonna put hourly slash daily so i know what time frame sits in save and there you go now i have two templates here so let's say if i go into euro us dollar and i want to apply this from here to here you can see again since it's set on ticks nothing is going to happen on a forex market but i can just go into more um or here sorry into templates this little button here it's a little shortcut to templates and you can see i got crypto forex i click on that and now i have my profile here for forex right there i can click on it i can move it to different points let's say i want it from this high etc okay so that's how you work with uh the templates now one last tip as well sometimes let's say i'm on an hourly chart and i'm going to mark with a vertical line just for the sake of this example where the profile is starting let me make this line thicker okay so we can see the profile starting from this vertical line all the way to the end and remember we have this on visibility we have it on the daily and the hourly so let's say i'm going to go into the one hour chart and now i'm on the one hour chart and i'm like where's the profile nothing is coming up and i have it enabled this is a little quirky thing that trading view has where the profile is not going to load until you put all the candlesticks from the range on the chart so here let me just get rid of this this is some old drawings if i zoom out all the way here now it popped up so you see what happened this profile i started it on february 23rd So I have it right there, February 23rd. If I go into a four hour chart, nothing is gonna show up until I zoom out this chart or I move all the way back to the 23rd. So that's just a little quirky thing with TradingView where for the volume profile to load, once it's loaded, I can move all the way to the front and now it's gonna stay on the screen but if you're applying a volume profile, you need to make sure you have the whole, the starting date of the profile visible in order for it to load up on your chart, okay? And that's pretty much it, the summary of the video. Again, remember, double click it, brings up all the settings. And, you know, this is a very useful tool now, like I said now you're able to have a profile all the way to the right edge of the chart or all the way to the left edge of the charts and yeah that's pretty much it if you have any questions or comments leave them down below i'll make sure to respond whenever i can hope you like the video thank you all for tuning in remember to subscribe so you don't miss on any new content and i'll see you in the next one take care